Hi there everyone, here again with another Share Factor tutorial. Version 2.0 comes with many updates to the sticker and text overlay UI. In this tutorial, we'll go over some of these changes. Just as in previous patches, open the Add menu to enter Add Overlays. This will allow you to add any sticker or text to the clip at where your playhead is positioned. So we'll start with any basic sticker, and it'll open the Edit menu automatically. Now you can place the sticker at any point, just like you would in any of the previous patches. Once you apply it, though, and exit the Edit menu, when you're in the Edit Overlay screen, you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, the Add and Edit menus have changed now. So instead of X being to edit, it's just like the other menus now, where Square will open your edit menu, and Add with X will reopen the Add menu, meaning you can spam in additional stickers freely without leaving this menu. Just as before, continue to use the up and down arrows to select any of your different overlays currently on the screen. However, you can also now use the left analog stick to highlight the frame on the left for your layers panel. This will allow you to actively select any of these stickers and actively move to editing any one of them. So this one I'm on a sticker, if I select left and then select my text, I can automatically now open the text editing menu. This is also available if you go into your transform. So when you go into your transform menu, you'll first notice that the R stick is now your move instead of the left stick. This allows us to select actively any of the layers panel. So while I'm in move, I can actually automatically go over to the layers panel, switch to moving the sticker. Select the left on the left analog stick, select another sticker, start moving it. This will allow you to freely and quickly edit any of your stickers or text. You'll also notice when you highlight the layers panel with the left analog stick, at the bottom of the screen, you've automatically entered the layer order mode. So if you select any of these stickers with R1 or L1, you can move the order of how these stickers display automatically as well. So if I can move the share factor sticker on top of other stickers now at this point, select it and move it around as I need to, or I can go back into the layers mode and then move it back down behind. Also available in the Choose Overlays menu, you'll notice we added a new impact font with an automatic stroke applied. This will allow you to create your own memes. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned, we'll have more coming soon. Thanks everyone.